How we doing everybody? It's another beautiful day here in the Cheesy Moon Workshop. In this video, I'm going to be cleaning up this old Camillus Cutlery camping knife. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. The brass liners, uh, the black handles are really going to pop. Nickel bolsters. I'm going to, the blade on this is immaculate. It's in great shape. It has been sharpened, but plenty of meat on the bones. It's not all tore up. It just needs to be sharpened up. The, uh, the small blade, same thing. Very good shape. Very good condition. Get this thing cleaned up and oiled up so it's not so stiff. But um, it's got this little relief cut. And the handles for getting this blade out. I mean, that's almost in perfect condition. Little to nowhere at all. But um, with that being said, I'm going to be doing some time lapse and some voiceover on this. The, the handle's starting to shrink just a little bit right there, but um, not really even noticeable. But again, this is a Camillus cutlery, and uh, that tang stamp is what they call the four-line tang stamp. The knife was made between the early 1930s and mid-1940s, so in the neighborhood of 80 to 90 years old, and uh, for being that old, and not being cleaned up yet this knife has some fantastic snap and she is going to be absolutely gorgeous when i get her cleaned up and thank you mr ken this is this is going to be in my treasures of my camping knife collection i appreciate it and you very much ken is the uh, the operator i guess or, or the creator at the uh, pocket knife therapy link in the uh, description below please go check him out wonderful guy gifted me this knife it's going to be am amazing and uh, he'll get to see what one of his knives look like when it's cleaned up and and restored so to say so uh, we'll take a little pause here and we'll get to the cleaning Okay, guys, as we're fast forwarding through the typical Scotch Brite sandpaper uh, solvents and so on and so forth, I'll share a really quick story about the time I was mistaken for the Bigfoot, aka Sasquatch. Uh, blizzard, Central Ohio. National Guard, town is shut down, no, no food or supplies coming in. And. Uh, I gathered up what I could, loaded in my Volkswagen, donned my Air Force Sub-Zero parka and my Army trench coat, and headed out with that uh, U.S. Air Force duffel bag stuffed in the back of the Volkswagen, bypassed the National Guard, and, and took a risk trying to get 14 miles to my family to give that food to them. And about halfway, I... Uh, after skiing over snow drifts with that Volkswagen, I finally sunk, dug my way out, struck out across country, and I'm about 50 yards from a farmhouse, and someone starts shooting at me. And I assumed they were shooting at me for trespassing, trying to loot, but I ducked down in the snow, it was about three foot deep, and I'm trying to hide. And then I hear the man screaming that he shot the Bigfoot. I shot the Bigfoot. And uh, I screamed back at him in a uh, very uh, aggressive manner that I wasn't the flipping Bigfoot. Stop shooting at me. Uh, he was pretty apologetic. Came check, make sure I was okay. And I uh, explained what I was doing there. And uh, he was generous enough to give me a ride to the other seven or eight miles on the back of a snowmobile snowmobile to uh, deliver the food 
And that's the time I was mistaken for the Bigfoot. Uh, so it's a true story, it really happened. And uh, so here we're done, pretty much. Uh, polished up, swept up, it's gonna blow out as much as I can with this canned air. It really helps blow the junk out of those back springs. Um, I'll soap and water bath this when I'm done to get all the chemicals off of it. But even after blowing it out two or three times, they still get gunk out of there. But guys, uh, we're, we're nearing the end of this cleanup. I'm going to uh, strop it. It's in good shape. It doesn't really look like it needs to be sharpened. I'll strop it and uh, see if we can revive the edge a little bit. And uh, as you can see there, I slowed this video down just a little bit. But you can just see it. All it took was a pass on the strop. And it's ready to be added to my camp knife collection. This knife, again, was gifted to me by Ken over at Pocket Knife Therapy. Y'all need to go check that young man out. Right now, he has a, a knife that's a little out of my price range. It's a Camillus camp knife. Absolutely beautiful. Would love to have something like that in my collection, but too rich for my blood. Um, I'm very, very happy with this generous gift that he sent to me. Here, um, coming up here, I'm going to show you the snap on this and I slowed it down because it was a really cool effect it happened by accident and then I decided to edit it in here and leave it in check it out listen to this Okay, well, there we go, guys. It's all cleaned up. Um, again, thank you, Mr. Ken. I appreciate this very much. Um, this knife will be added into my camp knife collection. And uh, again, I really appreciate you very much. Okay, guys, here's the uh, Camp Kings that I have. Um, one I was missing a bale. I absolutely love the Camp Kings. And that's one of my uh, one of my favorite knives. Um, this is the Girl Scout pocket knife that uh, belongs to my wife. It's a uh, leftover from our Girl Scout days with our daughters. Beautiful knife. Needs a little TLC. Got to clean it back up. And this is the Diamond Edge. This is a project I'm going to work on with my grandson Luke. That's going to be his knife. And, of course, this is the one we just cleaned up from Mr. Ken over at Pocket Knife Therapy. Please go check his channel out. And uh, we're going to add in this, this Boy Scout or Cub Scout knife to go along with the Girl Scout knife. That's, a, that's one of my favorites. I just got it. And we're going to, that still needs to be cleaned up. And uh, in my hand here. This is my ideal camper that had some pretty loose and rattly clamshells. Beautiful snap on this old knife. I love the way this knife came out with the wood scales. I'm going to tuck that away. With this other little knife here, I, I didn't look up the name of this. I forgot. I just love the handles. It's a shame that one piece is chipped off. But there you go, guys. The Camp Knife Collection with the new edition from Mr. Ken. So please remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until I see you all again, have yourselves a beautiful day.